And this is one of the pool areas. It's actually nine feet at this end right here. And there's a, there's a there's a gradual one that goes from here all the way down to this end here. It's a gradual decline. Basically, for if you want to put a wheelchair in it, you could. That's kind of a short run. And they got one of, one of these at the other pool also. One of these frog things. They're, they're really slides, but the, they're, they got them wrapped up just like that. So I don't know if they need to remove them or what. And they got the other pools up there. The basketball court on the other side of it. They got this little waiting area for the kids. Today is day after Labor Day. So most everybody left yesterday. And it is, what time is it, like 2 o'clock? Okay, so it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This place is empty. I'm going to tell you this. We were here a couple days ago and it was slammed full of people. Especially the yeah, and kids were in the pool and everything. And right up here, there's the uh, there's their main area. I'll show you pictures of that later. It's where they put a live band in there for the weekends. But uh, this is the pool area. Well, they do have a decent playground here. It's pretty neat. It's in really good shape. So if you've got kids uh, under 12, they'd probably like that. Especially six and seven year olds. Uh, basketball court is a half court here. Uh, of course that one's bent, but it's not, not the only basketball court they have. They've got another one. And here is their putt putt course, miniature golf. Still looks pretty decent. I and mean, we may come and play that one day. We haven't as of yet, but uh, it's in really good shape. And you can see RV parkers are all around it. And I do want to show you this basketball court. So right here's the uh, the other basketball court. You can see it's full size. That go down there is in decent shape. And this is the upper pool here. Of course, the frog is broken. And this is the activity center. And I got an arcade here to the left. I'll get you pictures of that. Little convenience store. Uh, some things to eat. Restrooms at the end. Restrooms are in decent shape. And uh, the big pavilion area. So the pavilion area looks like this. This is a, basically a stage here, as you see dead ahead of us. And uh, they, last weekend they had a band up in here, so they played music till 10 o'clock, maybe Saturday night. It was a holiday week or something. Saturday night I think it was like 11, which is kind of rare for most parts. Most parts, they do cut off at 10. Our activity schedule is normally up here on the board. This week they've got uh, bingo on Friday. They've got the uh, uh, memories and melodies. We're going to be here Thursday night from 7 to 9. But, uh, but that'll be going on. But it's not a bad area. It's at least covered, so if you get a, a pop up rainstorm, you're going to be okay. They do have all the fans going, and they've got a uh, attic fan, which is that noise you hear down there at the end. But this is right across from the pool, the lower pool. There's the upper pool that way. The lower pool, they got ample places to sit. Uh, got some machines. And then they got a case of rains. All of a sudden, you've got a covered area to include restrooms right here, right here on the side. You got restrooms. If I can get away from the sun long enough. You got restrooms on the side. So it's a pretty good setup. There's some things some people have left. That was all stuff was here yesterday. It's flags. So this is the main area as far as activities go uh, within the park. Part is the RV part. The live DJ. I think y'all know that song. Right next to the uh, the uh, pool. I would say more times than not, the average person that stays here. They they've got 300 sites, but most of them are full timers, as you can see here. They've got gates up and they're swing, big swings out, and you can tell these these RVs do not move, as opposed to that one there beside that A class. He's, uh, he's not here full-time. Um, but most, uh, most I would say look like this. Got a big porch and you can see that RV has not moved in several years. I've also seen several fifth wheels that have it totally boxed in around the side. Not, not something cheap. I'm talking about wood all the way around it. But many of them are, are like that one there. Uh, 
and you've seen pre previous videos I've had that uh, I talk about you got pros and cons with having full timers here um, pros are you get consistent people consistent income and you got consistent reports of what's going on in the park if someone's doing something not supposed to be doing they tend to tell on them this one here's a good example of this this uh, uh, travel trailer is actually up on some serious blocks and they've got it way up high and they got it all boxed in it's all clean don't get me wrong it's all clean it's not junky or anything like that which is good they at least have those kind of standards but uh we're definitely here and we're not uh, we're not full-timers we're not full-timers in this park uh, but several others are they're kind of scattered uh, there are a few areas that are nothing but uh, part-timers and nothing but full-timers and you can see part of the lake that way so we're not too far from the front lake well, we only got a few more days left of this uh, RV park, and uh, overall, I like it. Uh, tell you the truth, it, it initially it reminded me of a, an old old school redneck park. Nothing wrong with those; they're just they're just different. Um, but uh, it was definitely a weekend park. But there's it seemed like it's it's torn between um, overnighters coming here for one night, full timers that are in here 12 months out of the year, and the others that are. Um, that are here for just the weekend, just here to party or what have you. That's what, it, there's not a lot of people like myself who come here for a couple of weeks from what I found. But um, pros and cons to both all of that. Um, most of the roads are decent. Uh, I will say there's definitely some, they need, they definitely need to have some that are areas that they need some repair in. Um, but uh, overall it's a, it's a decent park. I really like the location. It's, it's uh, you're three miles from Walmart. Um, two miles from a major I-40, <laughs> um, but um, and there's always uh, some things to look at like this where I'm heading now. You see the ducks going across the lake. I've actually got some got some grub here. I want to I want to throw to the ducks and see if they'll eat them. We'll see. <laughs> but um, uh, overall, uh, would I stay here again? It depends on how nice Advance is. The one in uh, Advance, North Carolina, which is only about 40 miles from here, I think. If it's a little nicer than this, I'd probably pick that one. And uh, from what I gather, they've got um, at that other park, they had they do have uh, um, tennis courts and they play pickleball, which they don't have here at all. So that's just something I'm into. And so uh, I, I would probably lean toward that park instead of this one. But uh, overall, didn't have any issues. Uh, the staff was good. Uh, restrooms were clean. Um, uh, could could use some repair. Got a duck or two or geese here, but uh, it's always good to look at. And um, but yeah, I don't have any issues with this one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and send this to your friends if they're interested in a park in the North Carolina area near. Uh, we're just north of Charlotte and not about 20 miles out of uh, Winston Salem. Um, they might want to consider this park. But let me let you go. Be sure to like and subscribe as I said. Because I'm just out here living the coolest life. RV Park Review Edition.